Deadpool. There I was, right? I got this old easy rake. Which I'm honestly, I think it's like a dethatcher or something, but dethatching doesn't really do anything for lawn. Anyway, come to find out this thing, if you let it go in tall grass, it'll take the hell off and do a nice big loop and come back kind of like a boomerang. So that's what, that's what was going on. And then it hit the one open spot in the cattails. I mean, she was wide open all the way till it was completely submerged. And I mean, this just happened. You could see the damn algae and still on it. You tilt it back, water's coming out the carb. So before I did anything, I figured we'll pop this plug. Which of course it's three quarters. Hang on. So this video was not planned in any way. It happened because of sheer, sheer stupidity. I can't even talk. Now, you, most of the time, when an engine is running full bore and goes into the water, since the water cannot compress, it kind of makes rods get all bendy. And I'm lousy with these three horses, and they're not good for much, so this isn't the end of the world. I was just wondering. We can just kind of dump it. You know, get most of the water out. Surely all the gas stayed in it. See if she'll fire back up. I'll tell you what, this weather is beautiful, but it just turned me into a straight up snot rag. Ugh. All right, I think that's enough. <laughs> that's what you want to see. So things are moving in there. That's good. You're puking. That's just, that's kind of disgusting. It's like made of soup. Here's what we're gonna do. Roll it up here and blow it out with the air hose. It's gonna be loud, so uh, I'll kind of do a thing with the sound so I don't hurt anybody's ears. Well, this is weird. Oh, it ain't a tadpole. What? Okay, so uh, if you want to get your three and a half horse going again, first things first, you got to get the tadpoles out of it. Sounds like we got a yard wide open. Pull it until we get a intake valve open. There we go. It's like I've done this a time or two. Like I said, you can be really stupid in this life. You just gotta get good at fixing stuff. Almost. Oh, Indeed. I can't believe a damn tadpole was in there. Poor little fella. I wonder if he's still alive. I doubt it. Hello! He's wiggling. Hang on, fella. Watch out for these ducks. You gonna be all right, bud. I believe in you. <laughs> God. Come on. You got this. It's all up. Oh, he's wiggling. He's wiggling. It's all a dream. It was a bad dream. Come on now. 
you gotta you gotta make it because the story you can go back and tell your friends nobody's gonna believe you all right he looks he's either gonna pull through or he's gonna be dinner for something else so either way i guess it's all i'm really kind of ashamed i didn't get that on film I'm getting better about, though, remembering to pull the camera out when I start being dumb. Like I said, when I'm having a good time, I don't think about filming first thing. <laughs> it's a good way to clean the spark plug, though. I'd say we got most of it. Let's check for fire. I'm sure it'll have fire. Maybe. Don't be the reason we have a problem today. I wonder if it's got, it's probably got crap in there, shorten it out. Let me pop this. All right, when in doubt, blow the spark plug out and then just, now pull till you're about to have an embolism. It's sparking, so, I promise. Uh, this will be the second Brig small engine that was in the pond, mysteriously. I've done on this channel. Now that, the last one was in there for over a year and then I drug it out and tried to see if it would run, which I won't spoil it, but I'll tack it on at the end. It's a cool watch. At least I thought. All right, how am I gonna do this? Hold on. All right, got you set up here. I don't know if it's gonna run or not or knock or what. Gotta change the oil because it's probably milk shaky. But yeah, definitely. If you gotta take one of these engines swimming, I recommend the Briggs. Old Briggs, not new Briggs, Jesus. <laughs> I don't even think the new Briggs you could get running to, to stay running long enough to hit the water, but that I don't know. What do I know? So yeah, you're looking to aerate your yard. We got one of these bad boys for sale. Ten dollar. It's a uh, we'll just call it flood recovery. <laughs> Thanks for watching.